Hey guys, BJ Posnecki. I wanted to make a video to clarify what a true dual zone heating and air conditioning system is and an electronic zone. So a lot of times people will say they have a dual zone or it may be marketed that you have a dual zone or a builder or a general contractor may say that, uh, you know, offer you the option to purchase a dual zone. Well, a dual zone, and you just want to clarify, and this is why I'm making this video, and I'm going to go through uh, how both of them work. So a true, a, a dual, an actual true dual zone has two of everything. You have two furnaces, and then you have two air, con, uh, you have two condensers outside, and then you'll have a thermostat that'll work one system, one heating, you know, one furnace and condenser. And let's say that that works uh, the first floor in the basement. You know, they may tie multiple floors together. So one system, complete system will work with one thermostat, first floor and basement. And then let's say there's a thermostat on the second floor and or third floor, there's multiple floors tied together. And that system will work with that thermostat. So you have two individual complete units or set of units. Now, some people may tell you it's a dual zone, but it's really an electronic zoning system. So an electronic zoning system is when you have one furnace and one condenser, okay, and you have multiple thermostats. You could have as, you know, you could have, you could have as many as you want, but let's just say for hypothetically purposes, the house that we're in here has two of them. So, and then the first floor thermostat works the first floor in the basement and then the second floor just works the second floor. And so what happens is, is when you turn on, let's just say the first floor, and regardless of heat or air conditioning, what it does is when you turn that thermostat on, it's gonna go ahead, and what I did is just for, 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 um, just for illustration purposes, I had the first floor thermostat on heat mode. So you're gonna have this control panel, okay, with all these different lights. So I've got the heat on. So when the heat is on, you're gonna see this, excuse me, this light light up. When you have it on air conditioning, you're gonna see the cool light light up. Now, when these, see, you'll, if you could see here, zone one and zone two, all right, when the system is off, they're both gonna be green. So now what happens is, is since I'm calling for heat at the first floor, zone one, okay, which the ductwork I've even labeled it for you guys here is on here. So I've got first floor and basement, this ductwork, and there's a zone damper that's on the other side, an electronic one that has a motor in it. And then here's the second floor in zone two. And what you can see here is once you turn the thermostat on, okay, for the first floor, this is the second floor one. What it does is it turns on, there's a little motor in here and it closes a flap. And you can even see this little indicator on here that it's showing that it's closed and it even has an LED light showing it's closed. So what that does is it cuts off the air to the second floor, pushing everything to the just the first floor. Now, just the opposite. So let's say you turn on the thermostat on the second floor. Well, what happened is it, well, you can have both of them on at the same time too, and then everything would be open and you'd have airflow throughout the whole house. But let's just say for hypothetical purposes that the first floor thermostat is off and the second floor thermostat is on, whether it's heat or air conditioning. What that'll do is you would see that zone one would turn red and zone two would turn green. This damper would go back open and then the first floor one, which again, it's on the other side of this ductwork, would close, pushing all of that air to the second floor. Now, people will ask me a lot of times too, if they can do air conditioning and heat. So let's just say, well, first off, you don't ever wanna do air conditioning if the temperatures outside are less than 60 degrees. So, but you know, let's just say uh, you get to that time of year where it's right around there where you can turn the air conditioning on. However, it's a little chilly on the first 
floor, basement, or the lower floors. The, again, you can put a thermostat on each floor. I've seen that on uh, house two-story houses that have a basement. I've seen a, a thermostat on every floor, or I've even seen them where, uh, I've even seen four-story houses where the first and second floors are on a thermostat, and then the third and the fourth. So depending on how everything is set up, but let's just say you wanna get air conditioning to those upper floors. It's a little warm, but it's a little chilly on the lower floors. You can put the thermostat, the up, you can put one thermostat on air conditioning mode and then another one on heat. And how it works is whichever one you turn on first, it will turn the system on, open the, the electronic damper and you satisfy that thermostat first. So let's just say you put, you, you, you turn on the air conditioning on the second floor thermostat it will run the air conditioning until that thermostat gets satisfied. Gets satisfied. It will turn off, and then it will have a delay because you don't. It, it has an electric, an automatic delay, so you don't have to worry about it. It, it it's got a safety on it because you don't ever want to go switching from heat and air conditioning back and forth because it could ruin the system. But it has an automatic safety delay. Once that thermostat gets satisfied, it shuts everything down. You have the delay, and then it will kick on the first. Uh, or the other thermostat, the first floor thermostat, that's in heat mode, and it will turn the heat on and heat up until that thermostat is satisfied. And then it will just continue the cycle depending on where you have the thermostats set. So I hope that clarifies any confusion because there's a dual zone system and then there's an electronic system. So I hope that helps. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm always dropping new content and make sure in the comment section that you leave a comment. Let me know what videos you guys like. I'm always looking for ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.